Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel, and um, I'll talk about something that um, I've had a lot of experience with because I've seen it so many times through my 15-plus uh, years of tech duties where I went through um, PCs of clients that had from Windows 95 all the way up to Windows. When I stopped, uh, Windows 8 was the new thing. And... Uh, the f funniest thing about it is how um, when there's a new version of Windows, uh, there's a lot of people that say, well, you know, with that new version of Windows, I'm completely lost. And, of course, I see a lot of comments here of people saying, well, you know, my friend moved to Windows 11. Now he's totally lost, doesn't know where to find anything. And also some of you that post here. And the funniest thing about it is that there isn't that much of a difference in Windows 11 than Windows 10 than Windows 7 than Windows XP or whatever. It's really, um, it's shown differently, of course, uh, with the start menu on this case, but you still have all apps and you still have the file explorer and you still have what you should have. So meaning when people, and, and that's what I've seen throughout the new PCs, when people say, you know, I'm lost with the new Windows. Honestly, um, what they are lost is not the new Windows. And that's often where people actually will go to and say, oh, well, with the new Windows, I'm lost. And um, I've, I've, I have a perfect example in my own family, you know, uh, moving to Windows 10. I remember um, that my uh, sister-in-law said, well, you know, I couldn't find anything on the internet anymore. So I went back to Windows 7. And the thing is, is you know, just a simple change is that, yeah, I couldn't find it because you were using what was the first version of Edge. And she didn't, didn't notice that the browser wasn't the same because they were so close. And she was using, at the time, Internet Explorer. So um, all of that resides there. It's that people don't realize that when you get a new PC, what makes you uh, feel lost is not the new Windows. It's that it's not configured exactly like the one you had before. Your favorite programs, your, your folders, the way that all of that interacts has changed because over time you tweaked your old Windows and your old system to do the things in a certain way. And when you move on to a new PC, it's never exactly the same way again. There's always a few things that change. And who's to blame? It's always Windows. But in reality, I can tell you that from my experience, 90% of I'm lost with the new Windows is you're lost because two things. Things have changed. You're not configured exactly the same. And it's not due to Windows. It's just that there should have been somebody there to help you and say, okay, so this is the way you work on Windows 10. This is We're going to put the same way of working on Windows 11. And you would not be lost if that would happen. The other thing is what I see a lot, and it's the lack of knowledge of using computers. You know, we see it all the time. I have people telling me, well, you know, people know how to use a PC much more than you think. No, they don't. And that has not changed in... 25 years of of seeing people use PCs. Um, if something has changed, the user doesn't have the knowledge to put it back the way it was. And that causes a lot of issues. So in essence, there's maybe, you know, I would say 10% of the way Windows works that maybe has changed something that you don't see but 90% of I'm lost with my new Windows, my new computer, is because it's not configured the same. And that's where using or having someone that is knowledgeable, a good tech guy saying, look, this is how my old PC is right now. I want it to be pretty much the same on my new PC. And a good tech guy will do that. That's what I did so many times. Reconfigure a PC so that you don't feel that you've changed PC. It's It feels like the same one, even if the interface changed a little bit. But uh, it's really 
the case. It's 90% of the users that doesn't have the same way of working because they didn't um, you know, configure their PC correctly. And only 10% of Windows that makes that, you know, I'm lost when I'm in a new uh, Windows or a new PC. Um, as an experiment, you know, people will say, I'm lost in Windows 11, I was not in Windows 10. Well, if you'd buy a new PC with Windows 10, not configured, you would say the exact same thing, I'm lost. Why? Because that new Windows 10 PC would not have the same configuration that your old Windows 10 PC had. You wouldn't find your way around because the things aren't there or at the same place as it was in the old PC. You only going to blame Windows 10 for that? No, because it was still Windows 10. Uh, that's It's a very tricky uh, situation. Um, and you have to be an outside observer like me and doing a lot of tech guy duties to have noticed that, okay, that's that's the reason, the main reason is this. You know, it's the same thing as when I always say, 99% of all the blue screen crashes and freezes have nothing to do with Windows, third-party software, driver, or some other stuff. Um, but it's always Windows to blame. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.